Good morning. Today is August 12th. It's 11 and I edited last week's vlog. Apparently I did have enough footage for a full vlog. It was 18 minutes. So I guess I had a lot to say last week. Um, so yeah. And I'm, I'm feeling more motivated to get a lot of stuff done lately. Again, I think it could be excitement about the new job and the fact that I'll actually have the money to do things I couldn't do before. And I have a lot more energy, which I'm seriously, I'm pretty sure it might have to do with the new diet, um, to be honest. I'm waking up earlier in the morning. Um, I don't feel so run down most of the time. I mean, there's a couple of days where I get tired in the middle of the day and I'm like, okay, maybe I'll have a short nap or something, but not as often or as regularly as before. Um, so yeah, and it's overall the effect is like, I have time to do things and I actually feel like doing it. When before I would just do the bare minimum, basically, just to get my, just to keep my YouTube channel going. And then, every, and then I just wouldn't do anything else. But now I'm like, oh, there's a lot of stuff I want to do. I mean, I'm working on my comic, thinking about live streaming, uh, you know, getting Patreon back up. It's, it's a lot of stuff, and I'm pretty hyped about it. So, yeah, I might have a lot more things to say in the vlogs to come. I'm not going to go and say for sure that weekly vlogs are back. I'm just going to post them as I finish with them. I still kind of like to record on a Sunday to Saturday format because it's just kind of easier for me to keep track of in my um, in my files and stuff. But whether or not they'll each be a week long or they might be multiple weeks long depending on how much is going on. Yeah, I don't want to I don't want to necessarily commit to a schedule with that because who knows if I wind up suddenly with a bunch of shifts in the middle of a week, I may not have time to vlog at all. So yeah, I don't really want to commit to anything just yet, but I have been uh, doing a lot more lately, so I guess we'll just kind of see how it goes. Um, one of the things that I was thinking about, like, yes, this was years ago, but I thought it'd be really cool if I could eventually get to the point where I was doing daily vlogs, but I honestly don't really see that happening while I live here, um, because I'm really comfortable vlogging in my own room in this house. Uh, so daily style vlogs may not happen until Alicia and I move in together maybe. That depends on her, too. But I did tell her, it's like, when we move in together, that we could probably turn my vlog channel into, like, our vlog channel, because I know sometimes when I visit her, she likes to pick up my camera and record a clip or two as well, and uh, we could be, like, that vlog couple kind of thing. I don't know. Sometimes she has things to say, too, and I I think it could be kind of fun to, 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 like, combine our stuff when we move in together, but that's that's a future thing anyway, so just a thought but yeah um so today um bailey's live stream is still going her 24-hour live stream i don't have it up right now because i was editing but i'm definitely going to watch the end of it so i don't know i don't see myself ever being able to do a 24-hour live stream in the future but if like i hit a big milestone like she just did it could be kind of fun but i don't know i still get burnt out at like four or five hours of live streaming so we'll see that could be kind of fun um but yeah, today is mostly just video work. Um, I'm going to do start on the mon uh, the montage for the month of May, and in an hour when my vlog for today goes live, I'm gonna schedule the art video for this weekend and work on the comics some more, I guess. So that's all I really have so far. Not working much this week, only working two shifts, and it's training, and apparently the week after, like I got the, I got my hours yesterday, it's, it was listed as cashier customer service training, so, yeah, so the week after, I'm only working two shifts as well, and I think they're both training shifts, so, I don't remember there being this much training when I started the last time, but there might have been, I mean, it was 10 years ago, so, there probably was, and I think then they might have squeezed in the training in a shorter amount of time but this time there's three of us that they're training at the same time and the actual people who do the training probably don't have a lot of time or a lot of shifts to train us in I don't know I was training by myself when I started last time so it might have a lot to do with just trying to find the time to train three people at the same time so so yeah, I don't really know when my regular hours are going to start, but I was told that since it's part-time, um, and it's not part-time flexible, which tends to get more hours, you know, shifts could be, could vary wildly and there may not be a lot of them, but that's okay. It's better than what I was doing before, and 
whatever free time I have in between shifts, I can keep working on my art. Which is another reason why I want to get Patreon and live streaming going, because um, those could also turn into other sources of income. So, we shall see. So it's Sunday night. Um, Patrick's friends are over right now. They're playing a, some board games. Uh, I did work on the montage and vlogs and stuff, and then uh, I inked that page that I I colored in that page I inked yesterday. So yeah, I used my Sumi ink. The background's a little rough. The backgrounds are not my strong suit. I didn't do a sketch beforehand, so definitely gonna have to make sure I do that. But yeah. That's the first page. I have to do the panel borders and the text. There's not a lot of text on this page anyway. It's just the title and then a little bubble down here. But I'm going to do that in Photoshop. So, yeah. Pretty excited. I like this process so far. So, depending on how easy it is for me to scale it down in Photoshop and get to the panels and stuff, um, I might adjust how I draw my panels on the 9x12s. I might make the live area that I draw in smaller or something, so. Um, I do have 11 by 15 watercolor paper, but I want to save that for other things. Uh, scanning that size in so frequently would be a little difficult, so. 9 by 12 is, it's a good size to work in. I, I do like, I'm very comfortable with this size, but we'll see that how it goes. I, I don't intend to do um, that stuff tonight. It's already almost like, it's like past 8.30, so. I'm probably just going to relax for the rest of the night. So it's Monday night. Um, I had work today. Just a four-hour shift. More training. Uh, this time it was cashier training. Uh, most of it, I remember. Um, produce codes, obviously. I, I have to relearn. Um, everything has stickers on it. But I had a lot of them memorized last time I worked. So I have to remember. I have to relearn. They make up bananas. I think I'm always going to remember what bananas are. Um, but yeah, no, it went good. Covered the basics. Um, helped bag and grabbed bins, uh, carts, I mean, a couple of times, cleaned some registers, but, you know, it was pretty good. Um, it was just two of us today. One of them was, didn't, couldn't make it, um, so she's behind by a day, but it's not a big deal. They'll just give her another training day. So I don't go in again until Thursday, and then next week I have two training shifts, and what it sounds like is it's going to be kind of a mix of what we did today is, um, We'll do a little bit of training, and then we'll, we'll bag a little bit, and we'll pull carts, and we'll do more training, and I imagine the last, like, like next week, those two days, those two shifts are probably going to be, like, your official, your training, but you're on express lane the whole time, or most of it anyway, I think, because I really can't think of what else we need to learn from what I remembered, um, so most of it I remember, though, so it went good. Went by pretty quick. Um, Patrick is covering a meeting tonight. I was supposed to be his ride home, but I called him and he said uh, a co-worker has showed up and is going to give him a ride home instead. So I came home. So I'm off till Thursday. Um, and then tomorrow and Wednesday I'm going to record another art video because now I have them planned for the end of October. So um, yeah, I'm going to get to work. On the, I'm going to edit the one that I recorded this weekend and then get started on my next idea. So. So it's Tuesday. Um, Dad took Patrick to work, and I guess he's running an errand or something, but I hope he comes back, because a uh, severe thunderstorm warning. That's the rep, that's the storm coming up on us. Um, and the wind is like 60 miles per hour gusts, and we're getting hail and stuff. Like, it's a big one, so I'm going to... It, it hasn't quite hit us just yet, but it's starting to. I'm going to see if I can get a good shot of the wind, because I've been watching it through my window, and oh my god. Yeah, it's raining real hard. I don't know if you can see. There's not like a wind gust going on right now, but if there was a few minutes ago, so. There it goes. I don't know. I might get a clip later when the big part of the storm's on us. Oh, here we go. Fun times. It's like right over us now. Yeah. 
Yeah, the red part's about to pass right over. It's getting loud. Dad's not home yet. I hope he took shelter somewhere, because I would not recommend him driving in this. I might try calling his cell phone. I don't know if he has it. Just be like, hey, where are you? I called Dad. He was like literally like about to pull in. He's here, so. So it's Tuesday night. Um, I've been watching, rewatching The Good Place for most of the day. Um, but we did groceries, and I edited my art video today. And yeah, I wanted to hang out. Um, so we've been having thunderstorms off and on. I know I got some clips of it earlier. But what I've been doing this evening or this night, or yeah, it's about nighttime now. Um, after dinner is working on that comic page that I did. I scanned it, I cleaned it up, I put some panels and text on it. And this is what it looks like now. Uh, this is on Chrome because I shared it to a Facebook chat. I was showing Alicia what it looked like, but yeah. So I've got, um, I just clean, I cleaned up the brightness and cleaned up a few details and used the burn tool to darken a few of the bit, bits of the shading that didn't scan well and then added panels and a little speech bubble. So yeah. It actually didn't take me too long to do that. Most of it um, was guesswork because I was trying to figure out, okay, what do I need to do next to clean it up and kind of that sort of thing. Um, but it turned out real good. So I think this process will definitely work. Um, obviously, for some pages that wind up being like really detail heavy, that I would have to do traditionally anyway and then just clean it up in Photoshop. But yeah, it looks good. Um, so I have two versions of it saved. I have the original file and then a really smaller one. Um, so this is 100%. I made sure that the small one, when it's 100%, looks like standard size for like the internet you know for like when you go to like a to read it on a webcomic so this is usually standard for most maybe slightly smaller but um yeah i wanted to save it to at least that length i i might have to save it smaller when i actually go to post it online but i'm actually going to finish drawing all of them first because i don't know how long it's going to take me to do it this one didn't take me that long um the inking took me one night um, but I have some pages that, that are sketched out that are way more detailed. Um, doing the actual grayscale took me an afternoon, and then this took me an afternoon. But I could probably, well, no, because I want things to dry. But I think I could easily do one to two pages a week if that's all I did. Obviously, with YouTube and everything else, I wouldn't be able to do that much. But one page a week, I probably could do, maybe. I don't know. I'm still treating this entire one as a test, so I'm not going to adhere to a schedule. I'm just going to kind of see what I'm able to do, because with my longer series, um, it might take me longer to do, it's obviously going to take me longer to do, because they're like multiple chapters, but um, this is more like testing out the process, basically. But I like it so far. I'm very happy with the final result. It looks good on the page. If I ever were to get this printed, I might have to tweak the actual file, but I'm going to make sure I save all the original files and stuff, so yeah um so i guess that's it for today i'm off tomorrow um tomorrow i'm recording another art video for september and i have an idea i have ideas for two more videos now um i was playing around photoshop before i actually decided to work on the comic page which is kind of doodling and i haven't really done a digital piece in a while so i was kind of thinking that could be kind of fun to do too or maybe i'll decide to do a digital painting and make that what I live stream or something. I don't know. I'm just kind of throwing ideas around. But at the very least, you know, I'm still feeling motivated to try new things and to work on art, which is good because sometimes I get into a funk. But I'm still feeling good about making stuff, so that's good. But yeah, that's my little update. So tomorrow, um, just the art video. I might run up to Hannaford to pick up my check if it hasn't been deposited tonight. Um, or I might just wait till Thursday because I am going to Alicia's on Saturday. So I guess if I have to pick up a physical check, it's easy for me to hit a bank. Because <laughs> there's no Bank of Americas around here. Um, there used to be an ATM in Orange. They shut that down. There used to be one in Gardner, which is 20 miles away. That one shut down apparently as well. And that was the go-to one. Um, 
So the nearest one's in Greenfield, which takes about 40 minutes to get to. Yeah, that's like there's like nothing out here except for just local credit unions, basically. And I really do like using Bank of America. I've been using it since I was 14, and don't really want to switch banks. So yeah, that's why I like direct deposit. But the first check sometimes doesn't work. So if it doesn't, I guess I'll just make a stop when I'm heading out towards Alicia's on Saturday, because I know there's one in Levenster for sure, so. And there's one in, there's a several in Lowell, so, yeah. Anyway, that's it. So it's Wednesday, and uh, my direct deposit did not go through, so I guess I missed the cutoff time for when it would, you know, line up. Sometimes um, it takes a week or two for it to actually show up, so. It means I gotta go to the store to pick up my check, so I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna have to cash it because there's no Bank of America ATMs until the Greenfield. So, yeah, uh, Patrick needs a monster for work tomorrow, so I'm gonna pick him up one while I'm there. And I don't know. Since it's my first paycheck in a long time, I might treat myself and maybe go to Hobby Lobby and buy an art, some, an art thing or something. But I'm gonna be careful not to spend a lot because there's other things I want to buy online. But depending on how much the check is, I might treat myself. So. I do have to record some of an art video today, though. I am, again, still way ahead of my art videos, so uh, if I don't finish it today, I have time to do it Friday and next week. So, so like I said, um, I have videos for the next two weeks uploaded and scheduled on my channel already, so I'm still doing pretty good. So it's Thursday night. Um, I know I vlogged yesterday, but uh, early on I just forgot to vlog the rest. Um, but I recorded a video yesterday. I finished it today. Um, I just got back from work about, I got out of work about almost an hour ago. Um, excuse me, I just ate dinner. Patrick is getting a ride home from a friend. Uh, yeah, I'm a little tired, but I'm good. Uh, work was good. Uh, finished cashier training, I think. Next week I'm going live. Um, but I'll have someone with me to spot me and stuff until I get back in the swing of things. Um, but yeah, yeah, it was pr pretty good. I thought I was going to talk about more stuff, but apparently I'm more tired than I thought, so I guess I'm not. Um, tomorrow, I'm off. I'm off till Tuesday, actually. So tomorrow, Patrick, I'm doing laundry. I gotta clean Diamond's cage, and then I gotta prep for the visit, because I'm going to Bill Ricca on Saturday. There's a drag show on Saturday. Sorry that I'm, I'm like, I'm way, way more tired than I thought I was. I'm staying up till Patrick gets home in case it turns out he does need me to go get him, but after that I'm probably going to just go to bed because <laughs> apparently I'm very tired. <laughs> so it's Friday night. I haven't vlogged yet today. Um, I was feeling really out of it this morning. Like, I just didn't feel good when I woke up. Um, but Patrick and I managed to do laundry. Got caught in a thunderstorm when I went did recycling today. That was fun. Um, we came home and that's kind of it. I clean Diamond's cage. I'm going to schedule the vlog for Sunday and mostly just we keep an eye on the weather and trying to get a figure out a good time to leave tomorrow to go to Bill Ricca. So yeah, um, I finally watched the new Jumanji movie, the Welcome to the Jungle one with um, The Rock and everybody and it was really funny. I was I enjoyed it way more than I thought I would. So that was good. Um, Jack Black's performance especially was amazing. So yeah. Um, it's 9.30 now. I'm probably going to go to bed by 11, so I got to schedule the Sunday vlog, and that's basically it. I might keep double checking the weather to see if they update when rain and thunderstorms are supposed to happen tomorrow. Looks like leaving at 10 o'clock is my best opportunity to like avoid most of the bad weather, so I guess we'll see, but I don't know. Maybe I'll just watch another movie or something. So it's Saturday morning, and I am packing up to head to Alicia's for the weekend. Um, I'm gonna add the footage from this weekend to the current vlog because I didn't vlog that much this weekend or during the past week so yeah I think this vlog is gonna go through Sunday night. Obviously when I edit it next week I may decide to split it up instead but um, but yeah for now it's gonna go through the end of the weekend. So there's a drag show tomorrow night or tonight actually to say Saturday haha. <laughs> um, it's mob themed and then tomorrow hanging out 
probably going to do a polka walk. Um, if it gets rainy and gross, I packed an umbrella so we won't have to share next time like we did last time. So, yeah, anyway, we're getting scattered thunderstorms today and they're starting around noon and it's just about 10 o'clock now. So I wanted to head out before the rain started. So I'm going to leave and go to Alicia's. I'm going to take my back at all. Hi. Alicia's soaked. I've been here for a little while um, and it's, it's like, yeah. This is why I left Athol at 10. Because I knew this was coming. The parking lot is a lake. There's a river. Like I can see a current. Yeah. Yeah. This is why I left early. I missed it. Alright, so it's the evening. Alicia has become Von D. Uh, we had dinner. And John is here, he's using the bathroom, and we're going to head out soon. Um, Von D has uh, created a new look. It's, uh, huh? Yeah. If you move around a lot, it might shift, but I think you'll be fine. So. <laughs> oh boy, is that the track? That, yeah. Oh, okay. You ready? <laughs> that is Mama, a, that is the a, meatballs. Yeah, it's mob theme tonight. So, what mob are you part of? I haven't thought of that yet. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's gonna be fabulous. That is a look. <laughs> Sunday morning. John is here with us. Um, we're gonna go get food, go to Michael's, and then do a Pokemon walk today. I didn't really vlog much after the drag show last night because I was tired, but it went well. Um, so I did get Alicia's performance, so I'll put some of that in there. Um, but yeah, food. And car assistance. And caffeine. Regular banana. We went to Michael's. Um, I got a couple of art supplies and found something cool for Artist Alley and John. I got candles. Yep. I pointed this thing out to John as a joke and he bought it. He's a banana. He's a sad banana. Now it's a happy banana. Now it's a happy banana. He's having way too much fun with the thing. Yeah. It's like a stretch on strong, but shaped like a penis. So you gotta be, give it a tumor like you did in the store. No. Tumor banana. Yeah, we're gonna get Jesse to do a Pokemon Go walk now. So I completely forgot to end the vlog last night. Um, I think the last thing that I vlogged was when John had picked us up and I was saying we're gonna go get Jesse and do Pokemon Go and all that stuff. Um, which is basically what we did. So uh, we, we did our walk, did a couple of raids, um, dropped Jesse off, went back to John's house, and then basically just hung out all day. Shay did grocery shopping and she came back and we had burgers and this like cheesy potato casserole thing and for basically most of the afternoon I was playing Majora's Mask and that was yesterday. Uh, came back to Alicia's, hung out, went to bed and then I drove home today so that's basically it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna end the vlog because I'm it's over a week now and I want to start a new vlog today so I guess that does it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.